This is a statement in response to the use of Joseph Joe Plunkett's image in support of retaining the Eighth Amendment to the Constitution. I'm speaking on behalf of myself, Isolde Obrolochon Carmody, and of my mother, Honor Obrolochon, who can't join me here today. As descendants of Joe's sister, Geraldine Jerry Plunkett, and as the author of the only biographies of both Joe and Jerry, that's Honor, we do not believe that either of them would support the Eighth Amendment to the Irish Constitution. Joe Plunkett was a revolutionary and a feminist. He deeply believed in women's rights and his father, George Noble Plunkett, helped to ensure that women's suffrage was included in the foundation of the state. It is no accident that the proclamation of the Irish Republic specifically addresses both Irish men and Irish women. Joe was very close to his sister, Gerry, who studied medicine and chemistry. Gerry was a great supporter of the work of Marie Stopes and worked to try to open Marie Stopes clinics in Ireland after independence. She had been told by her doctor that another pregnancy would kill her and was infuriated by the doctor being unable to intervene through contraception or abortion to ensure her survival. Although she did survive further pregnancies, she always believed in women's reproductive rights and bodily autonomy. We, Jerry's great-granddaughter and granddaughter, have had our views strongly influenced by Joe and Jerry's revolutionary thought. Neither of us has ever doubted that access to both contraception and safe abortion are human rights essential to women's health care. Jerry's own daughter, Blaw, my grandmother, stood in front of Gardaí as they raided the offices of Open Door Counselling, who provided women with information about obtaining abortions through the 1980s. We reject the co-opting of Joe Plunkett's name, image or legacy by the No campaign. We are all voting yes and Joe, Jerry and Blaw would all be doing the same if they were still around. That's on behalf of my mother, Honor O'Brolochon, who is the author of The Sixteen Lives biography of Joseph Plunkett and of All in the Blood, a memoir of Geraldine Plunkett. This is Geraldine Plunkett, Mamo. And on behalf of myself, Isolde Obrolochon Carmody, I'm the playwright and performer of Mamo, a story of Geraldine Plunkett Dillon. Get out there on Friday and vote yes. That's what they would want us to do.